welcome to my atlas six reading vlog at the time i'm starting this reading vlog i've actually been reading the atlas six for a while but i'm not too far through it because i haven't had a huge amount of reading time so i am on page 159 i'm on 38 percent of the way through now you may be thinking charlotte why are you starting a reading vlog when you were already 38 percent of the way through a book wow let me tell you i really didn't know how i was going to feel about the atlas six like i started this book because it was on kindle unlimited i'd sought daisy from library of days post about like the atlas complex the newest book in the series that comes out on the 9th of january and i was like oh i'm gonna give this a go but i wasn't expecting i wasn't expecting to like it and after the akata shibaku i was like okay i don't really want to do a vlog just in case you know especially like i got the atlas 6 on um, kindle unlimited so i was like for me a kindle unlimited is always going to be an easy dnf so the the story's been set i've fallen in love with this book i've fallen in love with olivia blake's writing and today when i'm filming this thursday the 4th of february thursday the 4th of january i went into my local independent bookshop and they had this so i just i brought it she came home with me it's a signed copy so we had to so and then i ordered hardbacks of the atlas six and the atlas paradox on vinted so we're gonna have the whole family so i thought let's turn this into a reading vlog because i am loving loving this book so much i love olivia blake's writing i was like i want this documented like i want my reactions documented this is going to be spoiler free because since i've been reading these this book i have had so many questions on it and like if i'm enjoying it if i like it because olivia blake's writing is a little bit pretentious like that is kind of what a lot of people say personally i don't i'm not finding that i just think it's beautiful i i like maybe there's a lot of big words but as a folklore and evermore girly i'm unfazed but yeah so we are currently reading the atlas six i am as i said enjoying it like i am loving it i really want to just put a lot of time into reading this right now because her writing is beautiful the amount of highlights that i have in this book so far is insane it's one of the reasons why i was like no i need to get the physical copies so i can continue to highlight so these are all of the highlights that i have so far there's four scrolls worth and i'm 38 percent of the way through if you have a kindle you will know that's quite a lot i'm really enjoying it so plan for my little evening is to get all cozy i'm gonna make hot chocolate it's about eight o'clock and we are gonna dive into the atlas six i've got how many hours how many hours that's what we care about i've got seven hours and 51 minutes to finish to go so i'm hoping that we're gonna finish this tomorrow that's my plan then we can move on to because i've already brought the atlas paradox on kindle because it was 99p and i had a feeling that as soon as this came comes out the price would shoot up because we know amazon are like so I can start it straight away. I don't have to, to wait for my hardbacks to come. Hopefully they'll come by the time this video is up. But obviously this was not a planned video. So I don't know when this is going to happen. But I'm very excited to crack on with the series. So I'm going to shut up. And we can start reading together. It's her. Nothing else. okay so i got up to the halfway point with reading this last night and i am so so obsessed like i love this book so you know how like on kindle you've got the contents page and if you go to acknowledgements and there's a bit after you will see basically 
how long it would take you to finish the book. So normally like this happens in the Chestnut Siblings ones, they have the first chapter of the next book. So normally like you'll go to acknowledgements and you'll have another like 20 minutes of reading left. So I've gotten in the habit of doing that with like every book because I'm like, I need to see if the six hours it's saying is actually six hours so that I can plan the, the sitting that I will read in. I do that with the other six and I, when I, Basically, I thought I had six hours left. I will actually have five hours left. So that is the plan for today. As I said, I'm 50% of the way through. Um, if you've read the books, I'm on the part called Thought. I'm loving it. The thing that I really like about these books is the artwork that's in them. And I think the artwork is in all of Olivia Blake's books. Like, I think that is just a, a part of her book. So, yeah, I'm, again, really enjoying this. I love the world. These are, like, pretty character-driven, but... I really like the characters as I said I really like the world I've not I've this is the first like modern day fantasy that I've read and I also just love her writing like <laughs> so much of what I'm reading is just for her writing like it's just stunning so very much enjoying this Last night I finished the Atlas 6. I don't know why I actually think about that so much. And this afternoon I started the Atlas Paradox. I haven't got super far through because I read it for a little bit and then I needed to do some editing. So I'm only 4% of the way through. It's saying I have like 10 hours left to read. So I hope that is the case because I, you know when like, you just need to consume a book. Like I just need to know what's happened because the way the atlas six ends like there is a pretty big mystery and like i need the resolution i like the resolution's been hinted at uh, for where i'm up to and i'm like I, I need the resolution and i need it now so it is quarter to seven i can't believe it's so late today has flown by but yeah, quarter to seven, I've done everything I need to do today. So the plan is now to get cozy and to just read for a bit. I'm going to do what I have been doing and do a forest on my phone. I'm going to do noise cancelling headphones. I might go and sit downstairs for a bit and read just for a bit of change of environment because I've been in my room a lot today and I know that when I'm in a space for like a long time, I find it hard to focus. But yeah, I am... Um, I'm loving this so much so far I I just and it's crazy because they're really character driven and I normally say I don't like character driven but I think because of how developed the characters are like they are so so well developed they feel like I feel like I know them it just works so well 
I have given it a rating, the Alice 6, but I want to sit with it for a little bit more. I've put it on my Goodreads, but like I'm always, I'm never afraid to go back and change my Goodreads. So if you follow me on Goodreads, be prepared to see the same book appearing all the time because sometimes like three weeks will go by and I was like, oh, I've not thought about that book. I rated five stars. Let me just go back and change that. So be prepared for that. But yeah, I have given it a rating, but as I said, I'm going to sit with it for a bit. But I do think it will stay as a rating because... So one thing I like to do when I finish a book, if I rate it really highly, I like to go back and read all of the, like, one-star reviews of the book. Call me delusional. Because it makes me think more critically. Basically, if I find myself completely disagreeing with the things that the reviews are saying so i'm like getting defensive about it i probably do love the book as much as i think i do whereas if i can say like if i read the one star reviews and i'm like oh i, I get that point and i'm like mm, actually yeah like that is true then i realize like i've just got my rose tinted glasses on because if i like a book i like a book like i'm quite easily too easy to impress with books like all it takes me to give something five stars is you know i have that feeling i love the book i love the characters i'm thinking about them a lot and i will give it five stars but my little battery thing has just flashed up so i'm gonna go i'm gonna go read some more and hopefully we will get a big chunk of the atlas paradox done tonight and i will get some kind of resolution a little bit of an update of where i am at with the atlas paradox so i guys i was obsessed like i you know when like you just want to be reading a book so i got the audiobook so i've been able to listen today because i've got quite a busy day like i have quite a lot of stuff to do so i was like right i'll get the audiobook and i can just listen when going about my day so i have been doing that um and i am now I think 37% of the way through. I think I was 30% of the way through when I finished. So it says I've got seven hours and 40 minutes of listening left or like eight hours of reading left. So we'll see. The thing with the audiobook is that like each character kind of has a different voice and a different cadence. So for some characters, I'm having to listen on like 1.7 times speed, but there's some characters that do talk really, really quickly. So I'm on 1.5 times. There's some characters where I genuinely think I could go up to two times speed. Like there was one that I was listening to and I had it on 1.5 times and I was like, whoa, has it like reset back to one times? But yeah, I'm still really, really enjoying it. We're going so much deeper into the characters in this book and it's actually like a little bit mind blowing so yeah just having a lot of fun with it and very much enjoying having the audiobook as an option to listen to because as i said i am just wanting to be in the world i'm wanting to be with the characters so definitely a really really big plus there Out of this paradise, i'm talking Okay, so I am on page 286. I'm 67% of the way through The Alice Paradox. Um, I have been listening to the audiobook as well. I signed up for, I need to change my lock screen. It's still my 2023 vision board. We're very much not in 2023. Anyway, so yeah, I signed up for Audible so I could listen to the audiobook because like that is how much I've been enjoying the series like and this book specifically. Like I think I said yesterday that all I was like, I just needed to know what happened and i'm still really enjoying the book the only thing that i'm not enjoying is because we get seven slash eight characters povs the eighth one is like you don't see them a lot but you get so many povs and each pov is kind of on a different plot line some of the plots are like coming together a little bit more now there's still two POVs that are on their own kind of plot line and it's so frustrating because like you'll start making a lot a lot of progress with one plot line which is the plot line I'm most interested in and then it shifts to like one of the people's POVs that's not in that plot line and it's just like so infuriating because 
the thing with these books is like they're fantastic but you do have to use your brain quite a lot because there is quite a lot of like like a lot of bits that are like inception like you know the leonardo dicaprio movie and then there's a lot of other bits that are like just such extreme like physics and like quantum phys quantum physics but also like philosophy and like like they're quite heavy books like mentally heavy books in like no not heavy like mentally taxing more in the sense of like because of what they are about and because you're dealing with such like highly educated people and such intelligent people that like they can be a lot so like then when you are in a plot that you don't care that much about and it's such like a mentally taxing plot like yeah i just i just want to find out what happened to the character i care about because the, the two the two characters in this like subplot that was p of e's we keep going to i just don't care because i don't like them but we're pushing through so i'm listening to it so depending on whose pov i am i am in depends on what speed i listen to it on so for most of them i'm listening to it on 2.25 times speed now when i have my kindle in front of me and i'm like reading along i feel like i can go quicker when the words are in front of me when i'm like walking around i have to put it down to two times speed um but there's a few characters that like they do just speak really quickly so i have to put them down to two times speed anyway but yeah that's that's the progress feeling lost tonight feeling lost tonight feeling lost inside step into my life step into my life the atlas paradox about half three it's 10 to 6 now so it's been like two hours and guys i haven't stopped thinking about the characters ever since it's definitely another five star read like 100 this is a five star series no matter what happens in that last book it's a five star series at this point i just cannot stop thinking about all of the characters and i'm so intrigued to see where it's going to go from here like you know when you like a reading a series and it kind of gets predictable like Akatar, you know i knew where it was going to go it was getting like kind of obvious this series i'm like i i don't know where it's going to go like i don't know where it's going to go i i just can't wait i have i was really trying to be productive like i did a lot of filming um for tiktok yesterday and I was like, okay, I'm going to sit down. I'm going to edit, like, most of those videos so that they're good to go. And I was like, I can't. Like, I I can't. I All I can think about is that book. So I'm like, okay, the sooner I get through it, the sooner I can be a productive member of society again. So that's the new plan. But, yeah, I'm just obsessed. Like, I'm obsessed. I haven't felt this way about a book in so long. And I'm loving it. I'm loving it so much. I can't wait till my other two, like my hardbacks come and I can tab them because like I'm obsessed. But, 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 but. It is Monday the 8th when I'm filming this. The Atlas Complex technically hasn't come out yet, but I did obviously get my copy before it came out. Praise the Lord for independent bookshops. I can't get the audiobook yet. The audiobook comes out tomorrow and I will definitely be getting the audiobook as soon as it is out because it just helps me get through them like a lot quicker because there's a lot of words I'm not massively like sure of and and I sometimes like will spend a little bit of time like on the word like getting a bit confused but when it's spoken I understand it a lot more because it's more like familiar you know sometimes when you just see like a word that you've heard in like a film a movie a podcast something like that and like you have some awareness of it but like, you're not sure of the spelling so then when you see it written down you're like what is this word that kind of thing is going on so yeah i've just been really enjoying the audiobook and also i'm so obsessed that i just want to be in the world all the flipping time so yeah i am going to pick the alice complex up tonight 
see how I am getting on and then probably download the audiobook tomorrow and like I need to know how it ends like you know you know when you're like I just I can't function anymore without knowing what happens to these characters in the end like towards the end of the last one I was like I'm just not getting through this quick enough like fully I'm not I'm not getting through this as quickly as I want. Like I had like 10 minutes left on the audiobook and I was like, I am not getting through this as quickly as I want to be getting. Like, why is this taking so long? Because I was like, I just need to know what happens. Like I need it like imprinted in my brain, like now. So yeah, instead of ch chattering away, I am going to get all set up to read it. I'm also so excited that because I obviously have the physical copy, I can start tabbing straight away. So we're going to set my tabbing system up. So I think the tabs, I'm going to use a selection of like these blues. And the purple is probably like for the different characters i'm gonna tab or just a tab for each character i found that's kind of the best way that i've been working through this series because that is a lot of tabbing because i just love them all so much it's now tuesday it's the next day and it is the official day that the Addis complex comes out so i have got on the audiobook i just need to kind of fast forward on it to where i got up to on the physical book i think i got to page like 65 like i didn't actually get I didn't read that much last night basically I was like on a roll I put my little forest on read for an hour and a half and I was like okay I'll have a, like a quick snack break on my phone and then I read again and then I put another forest on and I got really distracted and I spent like two hours making a Spotify playlist and then it was midnight and I was like I need to sleep now I'm really tired so we're, we're not too far through today but I'm hoping that I will get a ugh, I'm hoping that I'll be able to get a big chunk of the way through okay so i have done a bit of reading this morning i think i read for like an hour and a half and then i went for a run i had an existential crisis which is just what your 20s is about so it's been a little while since i read but i did listen to the audiobook whilst i was out on my dog walk uh, so i have six hours and 51 minutes left of the atlas complex audiobook listening on two times speed which is fab i have definitely found the people on this version on this audiobook speak a lot quicker than the atlas paradox like two times speed is as quickly as i can go i don't think i'll be going up to like the 2.2 although if, do you guys find this with an audiobook that like the dialogue is sometimes like really really slow and you're like <laughs> It sounds so dumb, but sometimes I feel like you're um, like listening along and then it gets to a big bit of dialogue and it's like, oh, I need to put this up to like fucking 2.5 speed. Like, why is it so much slower? But anyway, excitingly, the hardbacks that I ordered of the Atlas 6 and the Atlas Paradox have come today. I'm a little bit sad that this one came after I'd finished it. Like, I'd pretty much finished the Atlas 6 when I'd ordered this, so I knew that this one I wouldn't get to read, like, in the book form. But this one, I'm a little bit sad that I, like, missed out on it by, like, just a day. Oh my god, I thought it was signed then. And I was like, whoa, didn't say that on the Depop listing. Because it was, like, this thing and it's that's really similar to the signature almost that's in the Alice complex but yeah it's they're such nice books and they're actually both in like really really good condition so that's nice i think yeah they're nice as well because the just the hardback themselves are all like the same so it's tempting to just keep them in the hardback but i also think that they'll look they're just gonna look really nice and then the the blue here and I like the fact they get thicker with each book. And also they have the number here. So they say like one, two. The Atlas 6 one is looking a pr like it's definitely got some damage, but nothing too crazy. And I only paid £3 for this. So, but yes, yeah, some of it's just a bit faded. So I think, I don't think it's that big of a deal. But if it does really annoy me, then it at least the hardback's like good enough condition very happy for these two to be in my possession and we are going to crack on with the atlas complex i am definitely really enjoying it i am not ready to be apart from these characters i'm really scared library of days i think is her like at posted a because she got the arc of the atlas complex she posted a tiktok of her like sobbing over it and i was like i'm not ready like i'm not ready but i also like i need to know what happens so yeah i'm scared but soundproof headphones are charged 
We're gonna get a Coke Zero from the fridge, a fresh can. We're gonna get settled and we're gonna read. And then I will spend some time, I don't know when, but I'll need to dedicate some time to going through my Kindle and annotating these. I think this one, I don't remember annotating that much like as I was reading it. The Alice 6 I annotated so much. So yeah, I feel like if you, this is, I'm going on so many tangents, but if you pick up the Atlas 6 and you find Olivia Blake's writing really weird and difficult at first, push through it because once you are used to it, it feels normal. Like it, honestly, where I've like read all three of these books in a row, now on the Atlas Complex, I'm like, this this feels like a normal book. Like it's gonna be really strange going and reading like a different book. Although the next book I will be reading is Little Women. So I was like, okay, I feel like it will, it'll be a, a more gradual kind of coming away from those kind of books. But yeah, push through and I would try and especially now all three out, read them all together, potentially even like include some of her other like novels as well and do them all in one go because it will just make it so much like mentally easier when you're like already used to her writing style. Yeah, that is my top tip if you are wanting to get into this series and you're struggling with that writing style is to just kind of push through for the first bit. officially halfway through the atlas complex i'm not gonna lie guys my brain is fried from how much reading i've been doing especially like with how complex some of the stuff in these books are i actually look like a state but we're just gonna ignore that yeah my brain is feeling a little bit fried but it's like a oh, it's half past eight now so i'm gonna do a little bit more um of reading i'm gonna put my phone on a forest again so i'm gonna just concentrate i'm gonna do audiobook on my laptop i have this on um just because i find that it just helps me focus so much more so yeah that is the plan i am hoping to get i wanted to get up to page 400 today but like i just don't think i'm gonna get another 150 pages done I just, my brain just does not feel like a real brain. I had to have a, like a big break where I just scrolled on TikTok for a bit. It's a heavy book to make that much progress within a day. But everything that's happening, I'm like, I just need to know. <laughs> like, I need to know what's happening next. So many things are being alluded to. And I'm like, I need to know. Like, <sighs> so yeah, I'm gonna get back to reading. <laughs> Thank you. 
official. This book's made me cry. Oh my god. Okay, so it's been a few hours since I finished the Atlas Complex now and I've had time to digest, I've had time to sit with it and I think this has been my least favourite of the three which I didn't expect but oh, there were moments in here that I really really loved but the way Olivia Blake writes is everything is kind of left kind of resolved but also like a little bit mysterious there isn't anything that is like super definitive of what happened like even at one point towards the end there's a whole chapter that kind of goes through different scenarios it's a, this is the strangest book of the three like in a lot of ways I don't want to say too much so obviously I don't want to give spoilers away because this is a spoiler free reading vlog but yeah there were just some parts of this that like didn't hit for me there were some things that just missed the mark I wish that there was just a little bit more resolution I thought we were going to kind of get that in the end and I don't really feel like we did like I I feel a bit confused about what happened it was quite strange because kind of the big events happened over a hundred pages before the end and then the, the 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 subsequent chapters are just a bit weird like that's yeah I found myself just really wanting to get through it so it was over not like not because I like what well, I'm well, partly because I needed to know what happened Oh my god, there is a spider on top of my bed. The spider was dead, but that was terrifying. But yeah, I think for me, it was just a little bit lacklustre. I really can't talk about my thoughts with this book without spoiling it, because like, the, the reason that I would feel disgruntled with it is a spoiler in itself. So anyway, I think I'm going to give this four stars, just because five stars is perfection. And this just wasn't that. There was, And there was too many like sizable things that I maybe... I'm not the happiest with for me to give it four and a half but I still really enjoyed the series as a whole I really enjoyed the concept there was just there were parts in this book that I wish were dived into more because there was plot lines that just weren't explored like the whole of the atlas paradox was gearing up about one specific plot line that just never came to fruition so yeah this is a four star read but let's talk about all of the others and let's kind of talk about them as a trilogy so let's talk about all three books so as a collective i really love this series i really love the character arc of the characters some characters didn't have huge amounts of development some characters like you they're the same person in book one as they are book three others their character development was actually like batshit crazy but in like the best way possible it was definitely like just a really mix book but I really loved that I really loved the way that it went I really liked the topics that we dive 
into in these books i love the way that dark academia was done this is the most like dark academia of the three the atlas six definitely so this was a five star read for me the atlas paradox was also a five star read for me and then it was just the complex that was the four star but yeah as a collective i think i would say it was a five star series i did really enjoy it i really liked all of the characters well if i didn't really like them i didn't i like hated them but in like a in a way where i knew that was the feeling i was meant to feel there was one character that i found her storylines really boring but these are also the plot lines and storylines that then just didn't continue and didn't go anywhere so i think that is more so why i found it boring because they just didn't get explored yeah i kind of think that that sums my thoughts up i would 100 100 recommend this series i do think it is one of my favorite series i think it might be my favorite adult fantasy series that i've read again i just wish there was more resolution in the final book but I I would definitely recommend giving these books a go and if you did enjoy this video please do give this video this a thumbs up please subscribe if you enjoy this kind of content so i know and i can make more of it and please comment down below if you have read any of these books or if you have now added this series to your tbr but i will catch you in the next one